my darlings. It's ALB in Whisperland here. Thank you so much for joining me for tonight's video. We are going to go to one of the coolest places I've ever been, which is the Studio Ghibli store at Skytree, Tokyo, Japan. This vlog is the final installment my vlogs in Japan. Going to Japan and making these videos is probably one of the best experiences of my entire life. So joyful, such eye candy. I got so much artistic inspiration this entire trip, so I hope that that shines through to you. Maybe you get some joy, artistic inspiration too, and I just really appreciate you joining me. It's been great to document things because I can revisit it later and sort of relive it again. <laughs> so tonight's video is sponsored by Scentbird. Lately, this past year, when I've been traveling, I've been doing this really fun thing where I choose one scent to wear my entire trip. And then what happens is when I get home, I smell that smell and my brain immediately goes to the trip and the good times that I've had. And I really recommend doing this. I talked about this a little bit um, in my Get Ready With Me video as well. I really recommend doing this if you have a trip you're looking forward to or even an upcoming event, because it really, like, elongates the joy that you can experience when your scent memory will surprise you. It's been so easy to do this with Scentbird because their scents are perfectly travel-sized, 10 milliliters, you can't go wrong. And they come in these extremely travel-friendly cases, which you can switch up. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for $17. So that's a 30-day supply of whichever perfume you choose. Scentbird has gorgeous scents from indie fragrance houses that are hard to find, plus they have great designer labels like Tom Ford, Gucci, Versace, and more. If this sounds like something you're into, scan the QR code or click the link in my description to check out Scentbird and browse their entire collection of fragrances. Plus, for my viewers, we have a lovely discount code to share. Use code WHISPERLAND to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird, making your first month just a little over $7. It's a great deal, and it helps support this channel. Scentbird sent me a wonderful selection of scents to try, including Vesper Glitz by Ex Nilo, Ready for Rosé by Veronique Gabay, and Sugarful Kiss by Michelle Germain. Mm. Vesper Glitz would have to be my new favorite. The mixture of jasmine and like cedar wood. It's so enchanting. It's like perfect for a night out. <laughs> the links to all of the scents that I chose, as well as the discount code, are in the description. Easy to find. Thank you again to Scentbird. It feels kind of hard to believe that nestled in the middle of the city in such a busy area is this tiny little spot of green with cute trees and flowers. This special little spot is where the Studio Ghibli Skytree store is. You can see the outside is really beautifully designed. As you can see, there is a cat bus in the window, and 
there's also bubbles in the air, so let's go. <laughs> so just looking at this cat bus, I have to say I'm already filled with childlike wonder. I mean, it's life-sized. If I could get really close to this cat bus, I could ride on it just like May. I can't imagine how it must feel to be a little kid coming to this store for the first time. I don't think I would really believe that it's real because the whole store is decorated so beautifully. So right here in the front of the store near the windows, there's actually fresh flowers for sale. As well, there's like a lovely planter, like the robot from Castle in the Sky. We've got a little mirror for sale with the Totoro. A little Porco Rosso lantern in the back. And these, these corn on the cobs, these cob ears. It looks like this is like a gift set that comes with a bag and a little hook that you can hang it on. It must be the special for this time of year. I'm already seeing so many Kiki's delivery service things, which is my weakness, so I'm gonna have to tread lightly. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. This replica of Kiki's bakery sign that Osono makes for her. Oh boy, I, I am very... a minute now. These are really cute. These are all little, like, stained glass pieces. We've got a castle in the sky, Kiki's delivery service, and Totoro as well. And some really cute little collectible statues as well. This one with them in the oh, look at me peeking out there, so cute with the huge load on the back of the car. These are what the stained glass pieces look like when you hang them. You can just imagine the light coming through your window, making them sparkle and shine. I'm kind of tempted to bring one of these home, but. I sort of have to weigh in my mind whether or not I think I could get it home in one piece. This little table is near the front of the store. There's a lot of seasonal display stuff here, including these little tongs, which are so cute. They're wooden and so sweet. This is a little tea gift set with Kiki's delivery service theme poster and tea bags. I do love a tea gift. I like to give that to <laughs> a lot of my friends like tea as well. So the store is not sorted by um, type of item, but it's sort of curated in little sections. The section through the store right here is the, the place where I can be myself closet that is themed with like the heroines of the Studio Ghibli films. And to the right here, we have lovely dishware. Look at this winter scene. How adorable. It's nice to see a little bit of winter items for Totoro as well, because I don't know about you guys, I always associate Totoro with summer. I mean, that movie takes place in the summer, so can't help it. It's nice to see some winter theming, too. These are all enamel pieces. Enamel, Kiki's delivery service, some wooden little plates, and even a matching little tea set with mugs. These are all so sweet. Mugs really are my weakness. This brand is Noritake. I actually have a couple of Noritake pieces at home, although they are not as cool as this. They're not Studio Ghibli themed. And this is 
the mug, we also saw at Kitty Land as well. So there's a couple items here and there that are the same, but like a lot of this stuff you can only get at this location. Oh, look at this. They've restocked this, so this must be a popular item. A Kiki's Delivery Service sign metal clock. Another temptation. In case it's not so obvious, Kiki is one of my favorite Ghibli movies. That and Howl's Moving Castle, they are my top two fave. So this is a little closet themed area, so we've got little stuffed Gigi's and the fluffy white cat is named Lily. I do believe I spy some tea wear. This is the cutest set, oh my goodness. This is from The Cat Returns. Are any of you big fans of The Cat Returns? I have a couple of friends who like, it is their number one favorite. They love it, what a cute set. The little spoons are like the best part. Here's a mirror, hi. So the rest of this little section, look at this stuff, it's all about, like, the women of Studio Ghibli movies. That's the theming, anyway. This is an LED candle. It's kind of made to look like jelly on the inside. And this is, wow, I kind of want this. A little jewelry or trinket box kind of themed around, I mean, I think it's themed around, like, Madame Sullivan's spell, and a little bit of Howl's room in Howl's Moving Castle. Am I remembering that correctly? I feel like I am. Some hand towels that are sort of a Cat Returns motif, and then just beyond these, we have this is our first Whisper of the Heart piece of merchandise we've seen so far. Oh, jackpot. I love these. Wow, these are so unique. I've never seen these before. This is like an over-the-door hook to make it look like there's a sign outside your door. This one says, Hatters, so it's like Sophie's hat shop, and the other one is Kiki's sign for her delivery service. These are little mugs that look very much like Gigi, don't you think? Kiki, look, it's me. <laughs> A cup cover, some very cute plates. Oh, I love these. These are very brave is what that little sign says. They must be like fine china. Look at the delicate design. There's Gigi with little lovely flowers and ribbons, and you can see climbing on the ribbons are Gigi's little kitten. <laughs> I love that one little black kitten. So cute. And look, this is just for a Kiki fan. A box that's made to look like the chocolate cake, the bread sign, and here we can get a little red pouch or a bow to match hers. These books are actually little storage compartments. And look at these embroidered totes. They're not so big, so you couldn't put like a fit a fair amount of stuff, and the references on this are so cute. There's a little crock pot. All fans of the movie, like, this is, this is made for us. This little nook over here is like, oh, really cute little jewelry and accessories. This is made to look like Letty Hatter, Sophie's sister, um, 
the pastry shop that she works at in market shipping and all of the little characters calcifer they're made to look like pastries little Gigi earrings and quite a few pieces of cat returns themed jewelry I didn't expect them to have quite so many fashion accessories here I don't know why, I just thought it would be mostly collectibles and plush toys, but like, I'm feeling very marketed to right now. It's kind of a unique experience. In these glass cases are a little bit of pricier items, so we've got some lovely brooches that are themed. This little box is all Howl's Moving Castle themed brooches. There's at her shop and like the crest of arms now holding Calcifer and this section is Princess Mononoke I love that they put a little like faux grass behind here it really it does it with the theming I love it everything in the store is sort of anchored in by these wooden displays they make the whole thing feel kind of like I'm in a Studio Ghibli movie. There are some lovely um, brooches that are sort of like a cameo of many of the um, best characters in my opinion, although there's a lot that I love that aren't featured here. But they're all blind box, so you can take the risk if you want, or they can, you can just buy a set that has all of them. It would be good to get this if you had that many friends you might want to share with. And then we have more little pins, but these ones are enamel. And these ones are also in blind box. There are a lot of blind box items here. It works out great if you like all the designs, but otherwise you're kind of taking a risk. You hope you get your favorite. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with blind boxes for that reason. This set is really cute. Our lovely heroines are facing away into the distance. And when we come just around the corner here, there's even more really cute goodies. These are like clear glass plates. saucers with the GG on it. And look, you can even buy this gift box with potpourri, nice little smelly stuff that's made to look like the chocolate cake. I kind of want that, I'm not gonna lie. You can even buy a little sort of cosplay, but more like Disney bounding because it's casual. A dress just like Kiki's. That looks really comfortable. This center part of the store has lots of little charms, plushy keychains, little soft lily kappas. One of my favorite parts about a lot of the plush keychains I've noticed in Japan is often they have little pins on the back so you can wear them either like as a charm on your bag or as a pin on your clothes, like a little mascot guy. And I love having that option. I wish every plush charm had that option. There's some really cute ones too, especially these tiny little guys. They're kind of like cell phone charms. Look at this little Borgo Rosso. Can you believe that these are so small? I'm always really into miniature things. That's probably why I love Slovenian families, because they're just so small and cute. The overall design of the store kind of makes me feel like I am in Sophie Hatter's hat shop. It's whimsical, it's kind of cottage corey. I live here. The 
this section over here has very soft plush toys as well as baby stuff. This is the cutest baby stuff I've ever seen. If I had a baby, this is where I would want to get all my stuff from. A little Totoro bib and rattle. There's some t-shirts and sweaters here, little hoodies. These are a little simple for my taste. I kind of like a more colorful hoodie, but it could be nice and comfy to have just a plain hoodie. And socks. Socks to me are like the ultimate gift to bring home. <laughs> it's pretty much a crowd pleaser, especially if you know what movie is their favorite. You could easily pick a pair of socks for them. I love these blue ones with the little print. It kind of reminds me of like a, a Rifle Paper Co. print. Not quite, but along that vein. There's even itty bitty socks for babies and kids. Now this section has really neat tote bags. They're embroidered, not printed on. So the quality is really high, and also the texture is really nice. I feel like if I had these, I'd just be running my hands over it the whole time because it's like satisfying to touch. Touching an object like that kind of like eases something in my brain, you know, when you can just run your fingers over it absent mindedly. These are little embroidered charms. We've got Whisper of the Heart, some carabiners, Barco Rosso carabiner, Sid Sprite carabiner, and Totoro. Even the robot. Very cool. I am overwhelmed by all of the awesome stuff in the store that I've never even seen online before. In this case, some more mm, little pricier items, you know, that's what they do. They keep the really good stuff behind glass. Mostly so, like, there's a lot of kids in the store. I think it's probably just smart that certain things are not um, within arm's reach. We've got some very swanky ties and tie clips. Watches as well. Could make a really lovely gift. And that metal clock that they said was restocked. I think that's a popular item. It must be. These are cool too. They're custom little lighters. Now over here, I love this display. This is all hand towels and washcloths. So most people in Japan, I've noticed, carry a little hand towel with them. Just a small one because a lot of bathrooms don't have, like, a tissue to dry your hands on, or hand dryers in North America are pretty much used to all public washrooms having some kind of hand drying thing, but, yeah, that's not the case here everywhere, so most people have a little hand towel with them, which is why most stores sell them. Even like really fancy stores have their own little custom like designer label hand towels, which is probably like the only thing I could get there. <laughs> there are so many cute towels to choose from. This is a busy area, so it gets a little messed up, I think. Through this little window, there's another little nook that we will go explore. Starting with this little section next to the cache, these are blind box magnets. So there's a set with all kinds of different planes for the aviation aficionados. These ones with animal heads, little totoros, little plush, and some enamel pins. you look, look up. This is behind the cache. Look at this little display. 
way, like the aesthetic with the stained glass and the bush broom. This makes me just want to abandon whatever aesthetic I've been cultivating and just like head dive into like a cottage core, Ghibli inspired thing. Because I just, I love how it looks. This section has some really cool toys. I love these retro inspired piggy banks. We have a Kiki Ashitaka as well. And even a little Gigi. How cute is that? I have a couple people who I think would love these. And these are little blind box toys. Little tiny itty bitty Totoros. So very small some origami paper, and little action figure sets. My eyes were calling me to go look at this one, because it has Gigi, Lily, and the kittens. I always find it so funny that they have, you know, a couple little kittens that look just like Lily, and then one kitten that is like, it's basically Gigi in tiny form. That's how it goes with cats, huh? And then over to the right here, we also have an entire section with really cool, like, canvas and fabric banners. So you can hang these in a doorway. There's some that you can hang on a wall. Some lovely fans. It's good to have a fan on hand, especially in Japan, where it can get from time to time. And then over to the right of this little nook section, it's Porco Rosso Heaven. There's this lovely tote bag, a little replica of the plane, some lovely glasses that are sort of tinted, one's tinted blue, one's tinted pink, and the lantern that we saw earlier. There's also lovely glasses. You, you kind of would love to have like a big chilled drink in this. At least that's what I think when I look at it. Some more beautiful little washcloths and hand towels. I think this is a kerchief and galsifer spatula. You know, for bacon, of course. <laughs> I guess you could gonna do bacon, I think. And we've got more little accessories over here. Some plush from Spirited Away. And to the left, ever so slightly, there's lots of cool kitchen stuff and cookware, so some little bowls. I love these cups. The shape is so great. I love that they don't have handles, like thing I seem to always gravitate towards is mugs and cups. I don't know why that is. It's just like, that's what I want to buy every time. Will you use them so much? It just seems like a good purchase. And very cute chopsticks. And it's spectacularly tempting because the price point is always good. Ones are especially cute. And then we have some lovely little wooden bowls down here. I think they're a sauce dipping bowl, but they may also be a spoon rest. These are some stainless steel tumblers, cups to keep your drink very, very cold or very, very hot. And lots of little washcloths are sprinkled in through the whole store. Now we've got some more blind bag collections, but these are really cool. These are embroidered badges. These ones, these ones are tempting to me because I like all of them. But it does kill me that they're blind bag because <laughs> there's some that I like more than others. These are the uh, Milk Gap blind bag. 
bag sets. We did see these ones at Kitty Land too, but I really like them. And then these are all like figures, little collectible figures. These ones are very like movie accurate. So there's kind of something for everybody here. And as always, if you don't like taking the chance with blind bag sets, Japan has you covered. You can just buy the box with all of them. Of course, it's a lot more expensive, but that's how you can get them all. Now, along the main wall, there's this great section which has, like, super kid-friendly toys. This is a little Totoro bubble set for blowing bubbles. It's so adorable. And these are all, like, rubber vinyl toys. They're very inexpensive. I think they're like two to three dollars each. And they're finger puppets. So they have a little hole up the middle. You can put them each on your fingers and you can uh, play with them or you can just display them because the molds on them is like they're such cool sculpts. This Kiki set is great. There's a bunch of really cool choose from so many. You could create a little army of Totoros if you wanted, because the price is right. But these are all very kid-friendly toys, and they're all, like, at a good height for kids to grab, too. It's perfect. If I was a kid, I would just grab a bunch of these Osonos. I love her. She's the best. These are some little keychain charms that I think they light up, but the display ones don't seem to have batteries. Probably all used up from people like me who want to see what it looks like. There's the Princess Mononoke one, there's, oh, pretty much any movie you like, there's one. And even a collectible bus stop, just like the one from my neighbor Totoro. That would be a really only super mega fans would recognize that out of context. These hats, I'm obsessed. Now, these are really tiny. These are like meant to fit a child. But it does still tempt me. I still kind of want one. I know they're not going to fit me, but they're so cute. And these little crab. <laughs> if I came in here with everything, all of this kid stuff, because I like it so much and I could get the satisfaction of seeing someone enjoy it who can actually use it. But for us adults, we have some lovely replicas of May's hat right here. These fit much bigger head sizes, so that is something I can actually use. There's more blush charms over here. Moon from Whisper of the Heart. I love the expression on this guy. Oh, he's so cute. And we've got a cat bus. In this display, you can see that Totoro bubble toy a little bit better. There are so many little Totoro plushes. I like these tiny ones because their eyes are just like little googly eyes. One of the best things about also buy DVDs, Blu-rays, and the very coveted CD original soundtracks, which those can be pretty hard to find these days. Next to the cash register on the left side is this super gorgeous photo area. Every part of it has been thought out and made very special for us. There's even a little light you have decent lighting, which I appreciate. A lot of these photo spots, they don't have good lighting. And the Totoro, I mean, come on, look at him. Seeing this little kid pet Totoro made me realize I want to pet him too. He just looks so soft. Oh, he, <laughs> he 
He is very soft. What a sweetie. There's even a little replica of the bus stop with the different times. It's been aged to perfection. It feels like a little film set. <laughs> There's really cool merch on he this side as well. There's like arts and crafts. So these are a little like paper art displays. You make a little theater scene in this cube by arranging all the different sort of slices of paper in such an order that it creates like a 3D scene. This looks really fun. Plus, I love that scene in the movie where Kiki is getting ready to take her big flight to her departure. There's some flatter ones here too if you don't like the cube. You could make one in this style. It's a little bit more like a, like a card. Easier to display as well. And there's puzzles. Really all kinds of rainy day activities. This is a good place to come for gifts, let me tell you. Like, there's kind of something for everybody here. It's, it's a little, it's a little much, like, in a good way. It's easy to spend money. There's even custom gash upon machines that are made for this store. We have this one with the big Totoros and this one with little crabs. They all have different hats from different movies. Personally, I'm gonna go for the crab. I, I just think it's so cute. I don't even really care which one I get, so let's go ahead and put our coin in. Give it a turn, and here we go. The little hat seems to be stored inside. That's okay. In trying to get this shot, I experienced the cutest thing, which was this cute little girl running around, and her mom felt bad, but I loved it. She was so sweet and made my whole day. <laughs> well, my darlings, we did pretty good in there. Uh, I bought one thing. You what it is. So let's you, me, and the cat bus unwrap this. I know it's hard to believe that I only bought one thing in that entire store, but in my defense, you know, it's a kind of a bigger item, so I was trying to be a little bit well behaved, <laughs> you know, doing my best anyway. Kiki 
be dutifully waiting at the door. You can probably hear that inside this box there is a lot of styrofoam to keep it in one piece. So thank goodness for that, right? Just like huge jumbo slabs of styrofoam. There's like a little foam padding in here too. I guess I opened it backwards, but that's okay. That's this piece. And then look at this. Oh my god. Is this not the most beautiful thing? I'm like even seeing it now. is like not the greatest angle for showing that.